Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be a Bath & Body Works haul. I haven't done a Bath & Body Works haul video in a long time. I have so much Bath & Body Works and it takes a long time to use up all of the things, but they had a great soap sale, an even better wallflower sale, and a pretty good, pretty good, $5.95 body care sale. So this is going to be a collective haul of hand soap, wallflowers, and body care. And I have a reason for each of my trips to the store purchase wise. So without further ado, let's get into it. We will go ahead and start with the body care. Now I picked up some body care items and I don't really use a lot of Bath & Body Works as far as creams and sprays go, but I do love the shower gels. And I was re-deep cleaning my bathroom and I have this drawer of like tons of Bath & Body Works stuff and I found so many sprays. And as I'm getting older, I'm not old by any means, I'm only 26, but, and it's getting cooler. I've definitely noticed my skin getting super dry. And in the summer months, I can get by just using shower gel because it's so hot outside. It just, I just sweat naturally so much. So I don't have to really worry about moisturizing my body during the summer months. I know you should, but like, I just feel super sticky. But in the winter, I definitely have noticed I've gotten really dry. And I do enjoy a lot of Bath & Body Works fragrances. And I had a bunch of shower gels here and they had the creams for some of them. And I was like, you know what? If I'm gonna use the shower gels, I'm going to pair them with the body body care. I haven't purchased a shower gel in so long because I don't really use, I mean, I use shower gel, but it's only me. I live alone. The cats don't use shower gel. So I have so much shower gel. I don't need to buy anymore. So, but I do want to pair it with body care. I did purchase one shower gel because I don't know what it is this year about this fragrance, but I have fallen in love with it. All right. So the first thing that I have is I have an In The Stars shower gel that has been in my collection for a while. And I have grown to really, really like this fragrance. It's, it's, what is it? It's Starflower, Sandalwood Musk, Sugar Tangela, White Agar Wood, and Radiant Amber. It just smells sparkling and fresh and deep. Definitely gives perfumey vibes, but it's really pretty. And I really like the way that it smells on my skin. So I did pick up the body cream. Now, these were on sale this weekend for $5.95, or this last weekend, two weekends ago. And this is the Ultimate Hydration Body Cream. So 24-hour moisture, rich and luxurious for instant moisturization with vitamin E, aloe, shea butter, cocoa butter, and hyaluronic acid. So I did go ahead and pick up an In The Stars Body Cream. Love the way that smells. I feel like this is just such a classic warm vanilla sugar. And I know Melanie from Mr. Kong's mom was talking about this in the candle. The candle is an online exclusive, but this fragrance is so great. And every time I smell it, it just is an instant classic. It's nostalgic. I know I'm not like a child of the 80s or 90s, 90s, when this was super popular. Bath & Body Works has only been around since 93. But this scent is really, really great. So I picked up a body butter in the warm vanilla sugar. This was the last body butter that they had in the store. And oh, it's so good. It is that spun vanilla sugar. It's beautiful. I love it. And I'm excited for the body butter when it really gets cold outside. And then this scent, I am so happy that these fragrances made a return. One just got discontinued, but the other one has been gone for a little bit, and that is Fairy Tale. These are still sealed. I actually got three of these in clearance at Bath & Body Works during the semi-annual sale in June, and I love Fairy Tale. Fairy Tale is pomegranate nectar, fresh orange blossom, vanilla bean, and amber. It is just fruity and warm and that bright orange blossom paired with a fruity pomegranate. I love fairy tale and they repackaged it in this like 
I'm calling it like a fairy tale collection. It has like a little deer on it and stuff. So I did pick up the body cream in fairy tale. And then I know this is like a controversial fragrance and not everybody loves it. You're the one. I also have two body washes sealed that I got at semi-annual sale in You're the One. And the notes are white birch, velvety rose, and a drop of strawberry nectar. This is such a great scent. If you like rose fragrances, if you like strawberry fragrances, it's beautiful. The bright powdery rose with that fruity strawberry and the earthiness of the white birch. It is hands down one of my favorite fragrances and they brought it back in this beautiful like bedazzled collection this year. Now I also have the sprays in Fairy Tale, and you're the one from a couple years ago. So I'm gonna pull those out of the vault and use those this holiday season, love. And then I actually bought the cream and the shower gel in Snowflakes and Cashmere. This scent comes back every single year. And I'm always like, why does everybody like go so crazy for it? It's Vanilla Cashmere Cream, Caramel Woods, and Frosted Clementine. And during my time with Vendor Wax, there's been a lot of companies that have this cashmere note. And it's almost addicting how great it smells. It's just comforting and warm. And like the more you smell it, the more you want to use it. And I know that whenever like in the vendor wax world, they would pair it with a lot of berries and a lot of fruits and like caramel woods. So when I smell this, it just smells comforting because there's caramel woods and clementine with that cashmere cream note. And I don't know how to describe the cashmere cream note except really comforting and warm. So I did pick up the Snowflakes and Cashmere. And these are body washes now I've noticed. All of my older models are shower gels, but they did reformulate to a body wash with pro vitamin B5 and aloe. So there are no parabens or preservatives and it's a vegan formula as well. So interesting. They changed those. I think Bath and Butter, which is trying to be a little bit more eco-friendly. All right, now let's move on to hand soap. Now, there is something to be said about Bath & Body Works hand soap. It is addicting, but I made a pact with myself two years ago when I lived in my old apartment. I am not buying any more hand soap until I used it all up. And I have used up all of my hand soap. I do have like my Diptyque hand soap, my Aesop hand soap at the sinks. Those are like my more luxurious, not everyday hand washes, but when I really wanna feel great. But there is something to be said about a Bath & Body Works hand soap that is just great. It's super iconic. And I will say, in more recent times, I have really fallen in love with the gel formula. I had like a $3 gel coupon and I tried it. And I actually really like it. It's a lot more gentle and I like the lather that it gives. I also find that the gel lasts a lot longer than the foam, personally. The only thing with the foam though, when I put hair product in like pomade and hairspray and stuff, it's really hard to get it off my hands with the gel. So I actually like the gel in my kitchen because I'm not like rinsing off hair product in the kitchen and I'll use foam hand soap in the bathroom. So they were $2.95, $3.95. There was a good deal on them and I had a coupon. So I picked up a mix and match of foam and gel hand soap. The first one I got was Pink Sparkling Spritz, and this is a fun little faceted snowflake bottle. Now this is bubbly ginger ale, pink sugar, and raspberry fizz. To me, this smells like how I think champagne toast should smell. It has that effervescence, it has that bubbliness, it has that, there's not champagne, but there's ginger ale and raspberry fizz, so it does give you those like celebratory, beautiful bubbly fragrances. And I was like, wow, this is actually really good. It reminds me a lot of champagne toast. <gasps> Crushed candy cane. I love this fragrance in the candles and the wallflowers, which I didn't think they had a wallflower this year. Crunchy peppermint, white sugar crystals, and frosted mint leaves. This is great. This is like that bright, crisp peppermint, like a bright candy cane. It's so perfect, so perfect and quintessential for the holiday. Plus, I love the packaging with the little snowman and the little um, candy canes, super cute. In that same collection, I picked up Tis the Season, another pretty iconic fragrance. This is red apple, ground cinnamon, and clove, and we have Santa Claus and some presents, super cute. And yes, this is great. This is just like a classic apple cinnamon, but the cedar wood, well, it doesn't say cedar wood here, clove, 
but I thought the candle had cedar wood. Don't quote me, but it tones down that cinnamon where it's not like a red hot apple cinnamon. So picked that up. And then I picked up, which I think is by far my favorite type of collection that Bath & Butterworks is doing, is the neutrals line. They have these like really aesthetic colors, really clean lines. And I think they just really fit with the way that my decor style is in my apartment. And I like I like the neutral colors. I like that they're soft colors and the fragrances, they kind of get a little bit more experimental in the candles and the wallflowers and the soap. And they also, in the neutrals, have like a real great setup. They have like a three wick. They have a soap. They have a room spray and a wallflower. So you can really scent your home in like a collection of fragrances. So I picked up two. I got Palo Santo and Sage, which is a returning favorite, but they just put it in the neutrals line. And this is Clary Sage, Palo Santo, and Amber Woods. I'm a sucker for all things Palo Santo. And with that bright sage and that like earthiness that it gives, it's really great. This will be, even though I got this in foam, which I typically use in the bathroom, this will make a great kitchen soap. And then I picked up, this is new, Balsam and Bergamot. And I'm not the biggest fan of Balsam, but when I smelled the candle of this, it was really pretty. Balsam Branches, Crisp Air, and Zesty Bergamot. And this just smells really clean and fresh. I don't think the Bergamot leans cologne in this because I think the Balsam is so fresh that it almost makes the Bergamot smell fresh too. So picked that up. And then as far as gels go, I got four gels. I picked up Classic, Vanilla Bean Noel, and Winter Candy Apple. And they change the packaging on these every single year. So this year it's like this pinstripe packaging. Vanilla Bean Noel is fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel and sugar cookies. And uh, Winter Candy Apple is red apples, winter rose petals, and candied oranges. These are beautiful. I love them. They're quintessential every single year. Plus the red and green in a sink is just super classic Christmas. I picked up Gingerbread Bakery. This, for one, is so cute. And my kitchen theme is gingerbread for the holidays. I have like gingerbread tea towels and a plug-in. And I have the Merry Mosaic Scentsy Warmer that looks like a Christmas cookie with like a hot cocoa bar. So it's really cute. And the notes are gingerbread cookies, brown sugar icing, and cinnamon spice. And I just thought it was perfect for my kitchen with the gingerbread man. And then I picked up snowflakes and cashmere in the gel. And I think this one like really just looks great in gel because it is that super like aesthetic, clean, warm cashmere. And it's the vanilla cashmere cream, caramel woods, and frosted clementine. So I picked that up and there's actually my receipt in here. So how much were the soaps? 350. They were 350. And then I had, oh, I used my 10 off of 30 that we got in the app. So it made them $2.39. So I got 10 hand soaps for $23.01. So that's a win. And now on to the wallflowers. Now I was explaining in my empties video how I like to do wallflowers is I like to buy them in sets of two. And oh, there we go. I like to buy them in sets of two. So that's what I did here for my entryways. I have two different entryways to my apartment and I like to match fragrances. So I picked up two wallflowers in Vanilla Bean Noel. Two wallflowers in there. Two wallflowers in Snowflakes and Cashmere. You can tell I have some favorite fragrances. Oh, this was new this year. I actually really like it and something is leaking is raspberry thumbprint so i picked up two of those this is great this is buttery shortbread rich raspberry jam sprinkled with powdered sugar and i don't have great luck i said with their candles so the wallflowers though are really great and strong especially on the high mode so i picked up these it is like that raspberry buttery cookie um speaking of cookies i got two Mary Cookie. I love Mary Cookie. Mary Cookie is fresh baked cookie, sparkling sugar crystals, and rich vanilla, just like a great classic sugar cookie. I picked up two spiced gingerbread. I loved spiced gingerbread. This is also great. Vanilla icing, cinnamon sugar, and fresh ground nutmeg. And then I had a free wallflower 
from before and I used it for under the Christmas tree. So I have one in my stash now. So I just picked up one so I could match. And this is my favorite tree scent Bath & Body Works does. Fir balsam, juniper berry, vanilla eggnog, and sage leaf. And I think the eggnog, the juniper, and the sage mixed with the balsam really creams it up and really makes it a quintessential nostalgic holiday fragrance and it like captures the essence of the holidays really like that so my washer just started i had it on like an auto set and i was like please let me finish this video before and i just heard it going so i want to end the video now let me know have you guys shot bath and body works lately what are your must-haves clearly vanilla bean noel um snowflakes and cashmere fairy tale you're the one those seem to be my favorites this year. So let me know what your favorites are down below. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. Love you guys. Bye.